Hello, this is Toll from Triumph Productions with another Blender quick tip. And then this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can uh, create a tire in Blender fairly easily. I've done a tutorial on this for, I think it was 2.8 maybe. But uh, with this particular tutorial, it's not going to be making the tire from scratch. It'll be making it from a, a blend file. It, people seem to call it an add-on, but it's not. It's just a blend file. And it's from a developer, and I'll leave a, a link of the download in the description below this video. And let me pull up uh, where it is online. And uh, this is a, I'm thinking this uses geometry you know, so this can only be used in three, Blender 3.0 or 3.1 and above. Anything below 3.0, this is not going to work because this, I think this uses geometry nodes. Uh, it's free, so to speak, but once again, you can uh, type in the amount you want to give to the developer. And because it helps them out in terms of creating more add-ons or blend files that uh, create certain things. And you just click purchase. And once you've done that, and you've put in your information, it'll give you these two files to download. And I've downloaded both files, and they're both blend files, um, but I, I don't know why there are two of them. Because uh, in the second file, let me try to pull it up here, if I can navigate to where that is. Uh, yeah, here it is. And this zip file, when, once you unzip it, with WinWare or 7-zip, uh, whatever your preference is, you go into it, it's just the blend file and an environmental texture file and a, and a ground texture, so I don't know... Uh, actually the point of that but it's still uh, the same blend file in this that's actually this at the top but once you've downloaded both of them uh, open up blend 3.1 or 3.0 and above and we're going to navigate to where I've saved it on my computer so I'm going to go to file and click on open I've already uh, opened it before so that's why it just pops up but on your computer, just navigate to where you've downloaded it onto your computer. And when we've done that, click on tiregenerator.blend and click on open. And it's uh, right here. It's got um, the notes set up here. But let's close this out because we don't really need that. Let me see. Join areas. There we go. Uh, join it at the top too. I wonder why I did that. Okay, we have it, and all your parameters are under your modifiers here, because what this is, it, um, like I said before, I think it uses geometry nodes, but what it is actually is uh, Bezier curves. That's what all this is. That's what makes up the tire. Uh, from what I've seen, uh, the brake pad, this and this, that's actual mesh, but the tire itself and the rims or uh, Bezier curves, which is great. It makes it makes it lighter to work with because this is a really detailed tire. If this were to be a mesh, it would be a lot uh, cause a lot of lag in Blender. If yeah, especially if you have four tires, because this is really detailed. And as I mentioned before, your parameters are on to the right hand side here. Let's uh, extend this panel so we can see a little bit better. And you can just change about pretty much everything on this tire. Uh, let me see flat gear. Let's let's test out some of these parameters. Parameters. Let's let's adjust them. Let's see, turn this to zero. Okay, it makes the tread disappear. One does tread. Uh, rim style for A and B. Let's see what that does. Uh, changes the style of the rim. That looks nice. And your A and B parameters. This is for A here, and this is for B right there. So I'm guessing if you change this, it'll change the. Oh yeah, it does. It changes the. How far the rims stick out. Wow, that's pretty nice. I'm thinking this is for. B. Or is it? That's no, for A. Okay, this are the, A parameters for the rim. Let's see what this does. Ooh, that looks nice. Let's pivot around. Can change the details of the inside of the rim it looks nice to the thickness let's adjust that okay makes it thick and thin uh, the count 
increases the, the number of, I guess these are spokes somewhat uh, for the rims. Change the count to decrease it or increase it. And the resolution now obviously that gives it uh, more, of a, more of a better appearance when it comes to the uh, resolution of it. The star length, let's see what that does. Okay, it extends the, I'm just going to call these spokes, it extends the spokes over the rim, the tire rim itself, which is nice. And I think for B, you'd have to adjust this to 1 to get this, the B style of rim, which is this. And let's see what this does. Okay, change the points. That looks nice. Uh, the star width makes it thicker and thinner. The star length obviously makes it, I guess, stand out a bit more of the edge. Let me see what that does. Yeah, that's what it does. That looks nice also. Uh, the star twist, I guess that's the angle. Let me see what that does. It, it does change the angle slightly of the twist, as you can see from from our uh, viewport there. And then the tread, it, it uh, you can increase or and decrease the tread count. Let's adjust the parameters for that. Like I said before, if you, if this were a mesh, and I see that as as an advantage advantage. If this were a mesh, it would be a lot dense, a lot more dense, and pretty much uh, cause some a bit of lag, especially if, if you have more than one tire. Because obviously a, a car has more than one tire for the car. There are four four tires. So if there were four tires with this amount of detail, it would cause uh, blender to lag quite a bit, especially with the car included. So having it uh, as busy curves is pretty helpful. Let's see about the tread vertical division. I'm assuming that DIB is division. And yeah, it is. Look at that. That looks nice too. Uh, the bolt count, which is this right here. Let's see what that does. Increases and decreases the bolt count. So yeah, this is a pretty nice uh, uh, blend file for generating tires. As I said before, uh, the mesh count is important, but it would be nice if you can convert this, because I've tried to convert this to a mesh. All you have to, would have to do is click on the tire itself. Let's activate the uh, selection part of Blender in the viewport. And you go to Object, and then you go down to Convert, and go to a mesh. It gets rid of all the treads. I mean, for myself, uh, like I mentioned prior before in other videos, for my PC, it can't. I can't use Blender 3.0. It doesn't. The specs on my PC don't allow that to happen. So for me to use this, and for other people who are out there who are wanting to use this uh, blend file to create uh, tires, um, we would like to be able to actually convert this into a mesh to where the tread doesn't disappear. We can use this and export it as a wavefront object into. A uh, lower version of Blender, or the, into another application like uh, Maya 3ds Max, something like that. But at this point, uh, it, that can't be done, which is which is no, it's not too bad. Uh, let's back out of that by pressing Control Z. But yeah, that would be nice to have that uh, option there. But like I said before, having a, having it uh, just be Bezier curves as opposed to a mesh is a lot more helpful on your computing system because it. Uh, uses less resources from your computer. And another good thing about this uh, blend file, this tire generator, is that it actually comes, the tire actually comes with the, the textures applied to it. Now if we were to change the viewport appearance, let's click on that, the texture viewport, and give it a little bit of time. Is it going to do it? Oh yeah, okay there it is, yeah. And let's uh, deselect that. You can see that the rims are uh, chrome. You got the, your your brake pad there is also chrome. Your your uh, brake shoe is red, and the tire is 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 black. You know, so that's that's a plus there. I don't know if you can add. Um, you could probably add dirt to the tire to make it more look more realistic. Look, make it look more used. But yeah. This is not a bad uh, blend file at all, in terms of it being free and uh, um, it being able to generate tires, uh, pretty pretty realistic tires. 
So yeah, you see the, the bit of sheen on there from the reflection of the uh, HDR maps on it. So that's that's really nice. So yeah, that's today's uh, Blender quick tip, the uh, tire generator for Blender 3.0. And once again, I uh, thank you guys who have subscribed to the channel, those of you who are subscribing now, those of you who have subscribed in the past, and those of you who are subscribed in the future. And I will see you guys on the ne next one. All right, adios.